Hey there, traders. Welcome back to your daily E-mini futures trading recap, where we take levels of support and resistance in the SPY and use them throughout the open session to trade the E-mini futures. I'm Sam. Today is Thursday, October 3, 2024. It's about 8 a.m. Eastern. Check out the description below this video to learn more about the mission of this channel and some background on this trading strategy. Jumping right into the levels today, I'll say that I'm seeing some mixed signals in my analysis. As we alluded to in last night's recap video linked right here, the price in SPY is kind of in a range at the moment. I see reasons why price might be pushed up soon, and I also see reasons why it might be pushed down as well. But I don't have a clear opinion on which sentiment might be stronger today. Sometimes at times like this, all the market needs is a spark of some sort to get it moving in one direction or the other. As a result of this, there are several levels that have been identified today. If volume is average or below average and price isn't moving around too much, these levels should provide some reaction to price if the SPY hits them. If things start looking crazy though, it's less probable that levels will act as proper support or resistance. We'll come back to this chart after the closing bell to talk about what happened and analyze any and all trades taken as a result of these levels. Catch you on the other side. Now that the market is closed, let's talk about the trades that could have happened today if you were playing by the rules. First of all, there was a 10 o'clock data release and this big spike here, um, here at 10 o'clock. Uh, I think I neglected to mention that this morning in the video and the email I sent out, and I remembered it kind of the last minute. So I was in a trade and kind of bailed out at the last minute. It would have worked out. In fact, let's talk about that right now. So 9.45, uh, give, give the market 15 minutes to settle in. They were down here somewhere. And that that would have meant you would have taken a short trade here. Now, granted, this was a bounce. They came up underneath this after 10 minutes or so and gave a pretty nice little scalp. But if you're playing by the rules and just using that 15-minute mark, which lately there has been some times where it would, have, it would have worked fine earlier. But anyway, either way, I know that it was way out of the money and came up close to this other level, which unfortunately didn't hit. So that would be not uh, 569.96 with a five-cent buffer applied. Missed it. Uh, anyway, it'd be nice to add to the position here because if you were out of the money this whole time, they came all the way down, would have given you a base hit here, and even later it went lower. So uh, I jumped out, had a little bit of a loss. I was, I was out of the money in this trade before that 10 o'clock data release. We can look at that in a minute. The first trade, a short trade down here at 567.70 or 567.65 if you added the five cent buffer. Either way, they came back, gave you a base hit before time was up, and then that level is done for the day. Now this level down here at 565.97, add five cents to it, is 566.02. So they came up kind of close, but not within 20 cents. The low was 566.24. Again, here, 566.24. So to be literal and technical about this, this is not a, what I would call the, you know, 2020 rule consolidation. And plus they came back in, into it later. So, you know, I, I, I didn't like the way they missed this. They missed this one. And I just, I, I kept recording. I'll show you the recording, but I didn't take any other trades after that first one. I just had other things going on, so I was busy. But the next official trade was here when they came into it at 12.54, almost 1 o'clock. Hit the level, bounced up more than a base hit. So really two base hits played by the rules. I know this looks pretty busy, but that was the result of a 10 o'clock data release that just jolted the market. And they kind of settled back in and messed around with these two levels for the rest of the day. You can take a look at the trade that I took. So it's 9.53. So I have a limit order to sell two. Then notice the time. Right before 10 o'clock, I kind of got cold feet and jumped. I just remembered that the data release was going to be at 10 o'clock and just didn't want to risk it. So I jumped out, thought I was, you know, made a good decision because they're taking off. I would have been way out of the money. But as I already pointed out, uh, that would have worked out fine. Ready to go short here. I had an order in the system. But as you know, they never got to the level. Fell back down pretty soon and would have given the base hit if I'd stayed in it. So uh, I'll just take the loss, no big deal. And I'll just scrub ahead here. I didn't take any trades. I just consider these levels done. As you can see, they're dotted. That's my indication that they're done for the day. And they never hit anything else until later when that 566.02 was hit. And I just wasn't even around. I was just letting this record all day long while I worked, while I worked on other things. So I was not in this trade here. That would have been the time to take it. I'll let this go until close to 3.30 and stop the recording. And that's pretty much it. So I ended the day in the red a little bit, but it played by the rules. You would have actually done okay. On the daily chart here, what can we tell? 
So they're kind of dripping lower a little bit and they closed kind of in this area. They're still bouncing off the top end of this little range that, uh, well, not the range, but essentially the, the, the top part of this support, which would be down here, I've pointed out a couple times. And if we drill in a little closer, like say maybe a four hour chart, you can see that there's this big down candle. This is the 130 candle uh, ending 130 on October 1st. And so typically this is kind of bearish looking and they could, this could play out to the downside. However, they're above the 50 period moving average. So by the book, that means this is still bullish. However, you start to see other things going on. So, you know, call this a bearish pattern setting up. And then on the hourly chart, you have something like this. You have this bounce off the 100 period moving average here back also on October 1st. And they've been coming down inside this big break up candle. Not surprising that they can't get below the low of this. And this would typically play out to the upside, but now they're under some important moving averages. So they're going to make a bigger move one way or the other uh, pretty soon. Might help to look at the IWM again on the daily chart. Once again, tail candle that started this move and they just keep getting lower and lower. Um, and they're ahead of the SPY. Is the SPY going to follow suit or are they going to have some last ditch rally before anything happens? Uh, we'll see. Last day of the week. I'm not sure what's happening tomorrow morning with in terms of data releases or any kind of announcements, but we'll look at it tomorrow morning, compare it against our levels and make some decisions. And I'll, I'll tell you what I think in the morning edition of tomorrow's recap video. On the tracking logs, the first one, as you know, is the plane by the rules log. This is treating every single level the same way. And here are your two base hits at two levels. Just took some patience, treating it like a process. You would have ended up with eight points if you traded those two levels. And I jumped out and should have stayed in, but you know, it's always 20, Hindsight is always 2020, right? So I incurred a two and three quarter point fumble on my two contract positions. So negative $275 uh, at that trade and never even enter the next trade. Just let it go and let the market do its thing. So that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. Appreciate the support. If you have subscribed, if you haven't, please consider doing so. I'm trying to get this channel to get a little bit more traction. It seems to be tapering off. I'm not sure why, but then again, I'm not really promoting it any other way. If you stumbled across this channel and you find that you are learning things here, well, that's good. That's the intention. I am trying to be as transparent as possible and share everything with you. So hopefully at some point might get interested in learning how to trade this strategy yourself. Thanks again. I'll catch you in tomorrow's recap video. Have a great rest of your day.